So in this video, we're gonna look at the Novation circuit. When you hold down shift and press power, it powers into a menu where you see a bunch of colors. The first color here is green, and when that's on, it's going to receive MIDI notes in from the MIDI in. If you turn it off, then it will not receive any MIDI notes in. The second light here, when it's on, will transmit MIDI notes. If you turn it off, then it's not going to send out MIDI notes. The next button here is the MIDI CC receive. In other words, if we're sending MIDI CCs into here, it will record it. If you press it, it's not going to receive MIDI CCs. If you press this button and it's on, it's going to transmit MIDI CCs. So when I turn the knob, it will send that specific CC out. If you turn it off, then it will not transmit when I turn knobs. So if this light's on, that means it can receive program changes. So depending on what MIDI channel you send in, you can actually change the synth patch. To change the synth patches, it would have to go through MIDI channel one or two. And also you can change the session program. To send session changes on an instant, you just run it through MIDI channel 16, and the program number has to be 0 through 31. If you want to select the session that will be queued for the next bar, then you just have to have same MIDI channel 16, and then send the program change from 64 to 95. If that's off, it will not receive program changes. This button would send a program change to the MIDI out. So if you're changing a patch on a synth that would send out a specific program change number. If you press it, it's going to disable program change messages going to the MIDI out. If this button is on, it means that it will be receiving the clock information if it's being sent through. If we turn it off, then it's only going to be using the internal clock. If this button is on, it will transfer the clock, the internal clock, to whatever it's sending to, to the MIDI out. If you turn it off, what that does is it does not send out the clock information from this unit. This button, if it's lit, will have bright lights. If you press it again, it will dim them. When you're all done and you just wanna start using your circuit, you can either turn it off and back on or just press the play button.